wage structures. There's oh. a big argument today on the Facebook group about wage structures. Uh, the rumor is that Eric Ten Hag and Manchester United are putting a wage structure into place at the club. Really? Uh, no one is to earn more than two hundred thousand pounds a week. Now, yes, that is a lot of money. It's qu essentially, because the dollar and the pound are the same, it's about two hundred thousand dollars a week. That's a lot of fucking money. Two hundred thousand pounds a week. No player is to earn more than that. Now, there are several players in the league who do earn more than that. Several at Man Liverpool, Man Manchester City. There's like five Chelsea. or six at Man U. <clears throat> right. So what has to happen? So here's what's going to happen. Current, um, current players who – oh, good Lord. Um, <laughs> sorry, my uh, – <coughs> I was um, distracted there. Current <laughs> players who are on <laughs> contracts – Current players who are on contracts who are earning more than 200000 when they go to re-sign their contract with Man United, a uh, new contract, it will they'll have to take a pay cut and get down to the uh, the limit of the cap. This is the order. smartest idea This is brilliant. Ever. It is because you're not wasting money on players, and maybe you can actually stay net, net neutral idiots. or actually— tell me, tell me why. Yes, continue. Because maybe financially you stop being in the negative and maybe you actually maybe oh, that break matter. even. No, that doesn't, that matter, doesn't matter at all. Matter. Nope. Next. No, 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 that wasn't – I mean everyone knows my Facebook argument and everything. But my thing is my, – my main argument besides that tiny one I just said was that the best part about this is that players need to earn what they think they're paid. Because everyone is That's overpaid not how it works these days. Everybody's overpaid. I have always thought it should be oh, I it, think should it should be, be like that, way that too. But it's not that way. It's just not the way it is. Like it's stupid should when they a guy really two hundred thousand pounds a week. I no, think it's stupid when a guy gets relegated basketball. into the championship and then an EPL team signs him and the guy was on twenty million. And like oh, now you're worth twenty more million or thirty just more million. Just I, I'm gonna wait until the guy who knows more about United is asked upon. Go ahead. I, I don't care if it's United, <laughs> if it's Man City or Chelsea. Whatever. Everyone oh, no, should this, do this. This actually is really important. No, no, it's no. You can't do this as Villa. And I think this is very smart. How can you do that? How can you do it as United and not as Villa? How can Chelsea do it and, and Villa can't? How can how can any club? It's, it's the same thing around every club. Tell, tell me. Tell me, man, United man. Okay. Are, you, are you ready? Yes. Okay. So for years, United have been had by many players who just come in for a paycheck. They're not a lot the only of them. Team. What? No, I know they're not the only. I team. believe this. Do though. you see the incentives? that they get for doing certain things. Those incentives will make those players a lot of money. Yes. 200,000 isn't that far of a drop from what most of these guys are making. Correct. And most they're of them get their money in sponsorships anyways. They're not No, they are $350,000. Yep. Yep, and he will make and he will make and he will make more if they make the Champions League. This is actually a brilliant move. This is where you. This is where where Eric Ten Hag said we've signed the wrong players over the years, yep. and we're going to stop doing that. This is where that then comes to play. Correct. And this is how you get those players in. And if you don't want a player, if a player is not going to stick around because of a weekly salary with incentives and bonus, this is not the transfer fee. Transfer fee is a whole other ball game, or right. bonuses we're not or something. Transfer fee. We're just talking about wages. So yeah, you, sorry, this is we were just talking about wages, not yeah. Sort of so yeah. which is a portion of what they make. I think this is a brilliant move done at a brilliant time, and the reason why it was a brilliant move done at a brilliant time is because this is on the backs of them and their win streak that has been going on, yep. and them doing very well. So if they keep this up and they keep progressing like this, I, I see this as a very smart thing and a very smart move. Yeah. And you know what? This is how you this is how you get out of that loop. This is how you get out of the Paul Pogba's and the Di Maria's and some of these players who are just coming here as a stopping point because you're united and you need players and you and they, overpay and they for know a player. that you're going to overpay. Now yes. we have a policy and we're not going to overpay. Exactly. And that's why it's different from Villa. If you want or Liverpool or some Villa of these overpay clubs. players, if you want more really? money, not, not, not to the, not easy. not to the tune that United has. Man United has. Yeah, and United has And look where Villa are. They're down in 11th. Yeah. Man look United. And look what United bought this season, and what has that done for them? They bought quality okay. players Correct. that wanted to be there, that and they didn't break the bank for it, it's despite trying with 1-1, one, one, and that probably went away, which is probably the best thing for them, and it has worked. Man okay. United have said, if you want all the money, 
you need to fucking win. Yep. That's the, that's, this that's, is not how the real, work, real world works, boys. Well, we'll see. So this is sports. Is, this is not the same oh, game. You guys are crazy. Have you ever dealt in sports before? Listen, 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 listen. Okay. So let's let's pretend uh, let's pretend Mbappe. Sorry, I just disconnect my mic. I did. Let's just pretend Mbappe says, I want to go play in England. Okay. I want to play in England. Okay. Okay. So who's coming calling, Nate? What teams can afford Mbappe? Yeah, United maybe, Liverpool. Chelsea. Yep. City. Well, let's just say the big the big three spenders. Mm-hmm. The big yep. four spenders. There you go. Can I ask a question? No, nope, no. Nope, before nope, before nope, you finish this, because nope. I'm gonna I'm gonna say one I, thing I that's gonna prove time. all this shit wrong. Nope. Yeah. Holland. Rest my goddamn case. He did not nope. No, he but he didn't. Three hundred and fifty thousand pounds a week and his was that agent? the most was that the most he could have got? He could have got more, right? He could have got a lot more he than that. He wanted to go there. Yeah. Thank so, you. No, you're missing, the, you're missing no, the point. I, we're, I think we're no, agreeing. No, you're missing the point. No, I think we just Mbappe agreed. wants to go to England, right? Let's yep. pretend Mbappe wants to go to England. Four big spenders. Yep. Chelsea, Man United, Man City, and Liverpool. Those yep. four big spenders. They all come calling. They all meet the offer of $150 million transfer fee, right? Every single one of them mm-hmm. gets a meet with him. One offers four hundred thousand. The other offers three hundred and fifty thousand. The other offers three hundred thousand. And United come with two hundred thousand. That's where, not what. United's where does offer he go? Is. That's not what United's offer is. Oh no no no! Guaranteed money of four hundred thousand pounds a week. Okay. But United come with play? United come with. You will get two hundred thousand pounds a week, and if you score a lot of goals yeah. and make so many starts, that extra money will come to you. Yeah. So let me ask you. A no question. one's gonna take that. Really? No one's going to take that. Because Holland went for less money. So you're wrong. No one's going to take that. Holland went for Holland less money. Holland wanted so to go there. It, that's my point. So why would he, anybody want to go to United to earn less money? Th- why why would, did Holland want to go to City to earn less money? Pep Guardiola and the team he's got. There you go. United don't done. have that and team. We're done. And you're agreeing with me. United don't have that team. They United don't have that haven't team. finished first. When was the last time they finished first? You're, you're, when was the last time they won anything? You're going off that now. They believe that they're going to do that. I'm telling you, it's not going to happen. Why? I this this exact same thing happened to me. Okay. This sir, exact same sir, thing happened to me. You can't compare Villa to United. No, this you happened can't. to me personally. Okay. Personally, United went and offered you three. No. <laughs> College recruiting. Okay. I had five schools contact me and say, "We Thank will you, give BJ. you, we will give you, one year scholarship mm-hmm. and a guaranteed starting position." Okay. Guaranteed time. You come to us, we'll guarantee it. Your scholarship, you got to earn it. You got to play well to get it for next year. I had one school come to me and say, "I'm not guaranteeing you anything except for your scholarship." Were, Four were years. They a bigger college. Four years. No, they were the same. They okay. were the same. Same. Was, was same. MSU same that levels. One? Was MSU that loan one? The offered, they said, "We're not going to take. We, the, you get this scholarship mm-hmm. for four years, no matter what." There was a school at a higher level yeah. who said, "No, you got to come and earn it." Okay, so the better school said, "said we, we you got to actually." And I said, it. "What happens if I step? What happens if I step on college on the campus day one and do my knee? The scholarship is there for four years." The other one said, "Well, it's not I, there. I'm sorry, that doesn't happen. That Correct. you're you're, you're going to have to go home. Yep, you're not going to be able to continue here anymore." Okay. What's your point? I'm sorry. I took the I took the offer, the guaranteed offer. Yep. Oh, I, I'm sorry, but there's is there not guarantees in what they these no, players are getting? No, there's a two hundred thousand pound guarantee. Right. The and others. If the team, hold on. And if the team, the team, because these were you team break your bonuses. leg, you're not part of the team. You're 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 no, on you're the side. You're on the squad. So you're, you're gonna earn. The, the you're gonna get that money. Yeah, that's what that's what it is. It's a team incentive. There's individual incentives. There's also individual incentives. And what happens? There's team incentives. What happens? There's also guarantees in there with two hundred thousand. There's yeah. also right. lump sum payments. There's also signing bonuses. And they won't and, and. earn the guaranteed four hundred thousand pounds a week that Man City are offering. You take the guarantee. Trust Holland me. Didn't take I've the guarantee. seen clubs do this. And it Holland doesn't did, work out. They're Holland, not a top they, four. Did they They're not, not did, top four team? United's not a top four team right now. They don't have this pl- in place right now. But you, is United not? De Gea is going to leave. Maybe they actually De Gea is working on a new. Well, contract. they they already signed Butland, didn't they? 
Did yep. they sign Jack Butler? Yes, they did. That is not a good replacement no, but for De Gea. But no, De Gea's going to go, wait a minute, you want me to take 150,000 pounds? Fuck that, I'll go back to Madrid. Okay, we'll see. I, I guarantee – it's funny because – He's overstayed his welcome anyways, Dan. This, this is divided in our group. It divided the, the Man United fans. I saw two of them say, this is the stupidest thing ever, and two of them said, oh, I love it. And I went, I've seen clubs do this, so, and you're going to drop so like a your, stone. So your solution is to sign the Paul Progbros in the world. No, because, you sign better players. No, you don't go out and spend well, Paul money. Paul Pogba at the time that he came over was, I believe, one of the best midfielders You signed him for the, the second, second time. Yeah, it was and he was mistake. one of the best midfielders. And Di Maria was one of the best outside players in the world. And they all came here for large sums of money and did fuck all. And so, guess what? Then they went to l- other clubs so players, and got paid so These less. other players got to play because the executives are stupid and signed those guys? No, it's it's figuring out, it's weeding out who actually wants to be part of your program and not. Yeah. It is. You're right, it is. You yeah. know who wants to be part of your program? Yep. Not the guaranteed players like Holland or Mbappe. Right. The stars, the, yeah, the they, tomorrow stars. Yeah, again, Holland went to City, not because of the money that he could have raked them over, but because of what now? Again, because of what? I don't, you, you keep, because of what? How are you comparing City Man City to I'm Man not United? Compar- but it's the same strategy, Craig. I'm not comparing one's, City one's to United. One has the potential to win the Champions League. The other's right. nowhere near I understand near that. It. So what you want to do is build a squad of players that actually want to be there so you can be successful like City and not just go spend cash like you're doing with Chelsea. So you're saying the Chelsea rule is good? There's no Chelsea rule. You're, you're saying the Chelsea philosophy of throwing money around is buying whoever you need? Selling it, buying your way? Because that's what we're working great from, isn't it? Well, that's the one that, that Man United have been that's on, That's what right? United were doing. Yes, you're so they got. So correct. you're saying they just got to try something different. Yeah, they're trying something different. What's wrong with it? It's going to backfire. Okay, we'll see. Man United. Because so far, so far, this going to drop. So far, last transfer when you, uh, uh, window, they brought a bunch of players that wanted to come, and they're doing fantastic. Jadon Sancho's not doing so well. Anthony's, that wasn't Anthony's last transfer, doing okay. and that wasn't last transfer Anthony's window. Anthony's doing okay. I'd like to see and his wages. that wasn't wages. last transfer window. What's that he was on? two transfer windows ago. You, they brought in Casemiro. Is Casemiro no. doing well, yes or no? Oh, Casemiro's doing well. Is he a long He's not on 200,000 pounds a week. No, he's not. Um, he's on about 350, right? Is, is Erickson doing well? He's on about 350 because he came as almost a free. Yeah. Uh, okay. Is So then he's going to Anth- take a pay Is cut. Anthony doing well? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is... is uh, Debatable. Scored, uh, Debatable. I, mean, I think he's doing pretty well. Is uh, Martinez doing well? Center back. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. Doing right. okay. he's definitely not three hundred. Okay. So you think these guys might know what they're doing a little bit? Do you think any of them would have come if Man City would have offered them more money? What do they, any would have come? I don't any know. of those players you just named? If Man City would have offered them a guaranteed three fifty a week, it's a and Man it's, it's and Man United was only a, offering two hundred. Man City's in a different boat, and you know that. You're the one who keeps telling me about Holland and Man City. I'm using that as an example. Holland didn't go to Madrid when he could have. Yeah, he wanted to challenge himself in the, in the league, in the Premier League. And he league. went for less money, didn't he? Because he could have got more money. And ah, that's my point. Yeah, and that's yeah. the point I'm trying to make. You keep looking at other teams within the Premier League. I'm looking outside of there. He could have got a lot more money going to PSG. Could have got a lot more money going to Madrid that are in the Champions League. Then and, and last time I checked, Madrid won the Champions you're League. You're going to get B he went players. To City. He went to City because he believed in the project and believed in the coach. And that's what Tag Han is asking of the new signees. You're going to get B and C level players because we'll there's so many other options for them to go and earn guaranteed so. money. And we all know how sports athletes, their careers are so short. they got to earn the most amount of money they can in the short time. You're acting like they're not getting a huge upfront bonus in that they're only getting a small so, chunk of change on so a So they're going to get like a $20 million bonus. No, you're acting like that the transfer fee. No, the transfer the fee fees, is nothing. And the signing fee, right? The signing bonus. Sign your contract here. Here's twenty million. You're acting so what's like the those point don't of doing exist. Two hundred thousand pounds a week. If you're only going to, if you're going to give them twenty million. But those are all part of the pay structure already, Craig. It's already all already there. So, so this is all bullshit then. What Man United are doing? What Man United are doing is bullshit. It's no. It's they're, they're going to give you twenty million up front. They're saying there's more pay incentive if you do well. They're going to give Which you no more money, wants to buy into. but you're acting like they're not getting any money at all, that they're going hat in hand like a free college transfer no. and, and some a guaranteed college. It's not the same. These guys are getting still millions of dollars. They're going to get an extra couple million if they do well. Yeah. What's wrong with that? And what happens if they don't do well for a couple of years? Well, 
It's on, on them. them now, isn't it? No, it's not. It's on the rest of the team because you signed a bunch of fucking monkeys. I mean, you get like individual incentives and you get team incentives. Yes. Listen, that's all this is. I, and you get I shit want, to the sponsorship money. I want professional sports to work this way. Sure. I want it to work that way. I want professional sports in this country to work that way. I want professional sports in England to work that way, in Europe to work that way. That's not how but it works. But it's not what you're saying. You're going like, oh, these guys aren't going to make any money. They're just... A, no, 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 they're no. Making oh, they're making stupid money. Stupid money. He's just saying they can when make it more comes stupid to decisions... Money somewhere else. Yes, he's talking about the financial decisions... That there's no that between the team that's restraining something and the one that has just can go buck wild. With but you no, you're acting like that. These are two different things, right? I so I if, understand if that, the but net, they're not. If the net sum. Let me explain some stuff here. If the net sum from from City is three million and the net sum from United is three million, spread over some other shit. Sure. Oh, but you also could get an extra million mm -hmm. if you do well. That's what they're saying. But most contracts... They're not saying they're not going to be competitive. Correct. They're saying they're tacking on Correct. performance You're essentially, at the end. You are essentially just backloading a contract with all these incentives saying that if is front such is achieved... Yes, because that's what contracts do anyways. They front and backload right. stuff <laughs> Trust anyways. Trust me, I understand that. Yeah. I understand that. Yeah. But that's not how it's going to go. You, City and Chelsea and Liverpool are going to go, they're guaranteeing you $3 million plus a million if you do well, we'll just guarantee you the four million. And this goes so back... if you don't do well, you still get the four this million. This just goes back to my Facebook group comment on it where I said the teams that want to play for the crust, that want to play for the club are players going... Players don't care anymore. Really? I think there are some that... Do Holland care. doesn't Dude. care? You think he cares about Man City? He wants to fucking win. He just yeah. he doesn't care where he wins. He just yeah. wants to win. So if you, have a, if you have a good and winning program, which is what... Eric Tag had is setting up here. Is hoping to have. Yeah, and this yes. is not in place yet. So once yeah. they set this up, then they're able to do that, right? I still think you'll get the the B and the C players and the A players to go to the work and they earn more money. That's guaranteed. Right, because Holland went to City because of the money. Holland. He passed up money at Madrid and went to City because they offered him more money. He had money. his eye on Man City for a couple of years. Right, I think. why? I think the world is Pep changing Guardiola a bit. And what he's got okay. said. He wants so to win again, the we're in agreement. League. I'm going we're to. We're completely different. No, we're, not. we're saying the same thing. I and think the world is changing you enough. Just, you just how how are we? You said that they're not in the same boat, Man City and Man United. No, I'm using that as an example. You keep. I'm using Madrid and City as the example. I said he went to City not for the money, for the program. Madrid right. would have offered him more. Hell, PSG would have offered more. And your dream is to have Man Man United be in that. That program that isn't people any, want to go is, to. Isn't anyone's dream to be in that program? To be the top dog to where you can bring players in because of what you Man do? Man City got to that because they offer 350, uh, 350,000 pounds a week to players. There's no incentives. There's no, if you win, we'll give you more. It's just, we're buying no, they the also best hit, players. They also hit on several players that did well. Yeah, that's the yeah. thing. That's the big difference. They, they overpaid for players. They're overpaying. But they hit upon players. Mm -hmm. Their executives... Mm -hmm. Did the right work, the homework. Mm -hmm. We've we've been over this before. Man City and Man United have spent the exact same amount of money. Yeah, Man City One does better homework. Yeah, does better homework. Yep, and pays be their players better, which leads to more winning. Yeah. Right. And yeah. United's last four transfers are they doing good or bad? I mean, in the six months because you can't been go. There, it's better than you the can't go outside of six months because it's a new goddamn regime, isn't it? I'm telling was you. Tag, was he here and fucking five years ago? You're going to handstring him. Was you're he gonna, here six years ago? Or I was he here six months ago? I don't think this is him. I Fuck. think this is Man United exactly. Yeah, thank you. Goddamn Grealish. How's he fucking doing for $120 million? Fuck well, me. Well, <laughs> he's setting up a lot of plays for Holland. Setting up for who? He's not playing. He's riding the goddamn pine. and his asshole hurts. <laughs> I think he's doing all right. Yeah. And you know what? And you know what? Anybody he, could have bought him, but one team did yeah. buy him. And you know what? He went. He left your villa, who you sat there and said he wasn't going to go because he loves the badge, to a team where he's sitting there fucking riding pine on his asshole. Yeah, just, That's my case. Just like any player wants to go for more money, doesn't care about the badge, doesn't care about, just wants to win and for the money. And that's... He probably had his chance to go to United, probably had his chance to go to Chelsea, probably had his chance to go to Liverpool, and he said, well, they... Man City are winning, and they're offering me more money. So I'm going to go there. Yeah, and that's what Holland did too, right? And they're all winning. And, and, and Holland did the same. Jack Grealish did the same. Kyle Walker did yeah. the same. I and, mean, that's, and, and that's you know, why you those know players who, went there. You know who there. perpetually shells out a lot of shit ton of money for players? Chelsea? 
PSG. Yeah. How are they doing the Champions League? Uh, they lost they're in a, they're in a joke of a league, and that's why they do well. And they go out of there. You but, know who doesn't do that? But why do the players go there? You know who doesn't do that? Munich also doesn't do that. Right. And how are they doing? But why did, why did the, some of the three of the best players in the world go to PSG? I don't think Neymar is one of the best players in the world. He's, he's a fucking joke. Ah, he, he's a good player. All right, we're, 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 we're 13 minutes over the hour. There's two minutes left in the goddamn uh, Lions game. They're up. Can we flip? <laughs> I don't can we care close this shit out and watch that? <laughs> I don't care about the Lions. They suck. All right, that was fun. We will see you guys, not next week because I'm out of town, but we will have some fun content for you. We will see you the following week with another live show, and I'm sure Nate and I will still be screaming at each other. Hopefully I've got my voice back. Uh, thank you again to Next Level Training. Thank you again to Soccer World. We very much appreciate the help. Listen, guys, if you could, do us a huge favor. Go to Next Level Training's uh, Instagram page, their Twitter, their Facebook. Give them a like. Do the same for Soccer World. We appreciate it. Give us a like. Give us a share. Share our stuff. We very much appreciate it. It's been fun doing this. Uh, and until uh, we see you next time, cheers.